and uh, there's Teresa. Um, I do not believe unless I've missed it, the Ellis Lamp is here this evening. Am I? Is Ellis here? Okay. Teresa, you can take the stage. Once again, we do want to remind the folks in the audience, if you do have a question tonight that you would like to have asked, if you'll please raise it up high and once again write the name of the race uh, to which it's referring to. That way we can make sure we don't miss those and we'll try to collect those as we go. Teresa, thank you very much. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. You have three minutes for your opening statement. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank the Home Builders Association, of course, for having all of us here tonight to see such a, such a great turnout. Um, I'm Teresa Lawrence. I'm running for House District 174. Um, I'd like to start off, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I have four children. I have a 16-year-old daughter that has gone through the Lowndes County school system since about fifth grade. She's a junior at Lowndes High School right now. Um, and I have three little boys, uh, Jacob, AJ, and Alex, and they are one, three, and four. Um, so they keep me busy at home. Um, I'm also a student at VSU. I'm pursuing a degree in business management. This is my first time ever running for public office, and I want you all to know that I'm really excited about this opportunity to represent South Georgia in Atlanta. I have a strong work ethic, and, um, excuse me, I get so nervous. <laughs> I have honest values and a fair nature, and I think those are qualities that are gonna be great uh, to bring the voice of South Georgia up to Atlanta. Um, I offer a fresh new perspective um, a different set of eyes, and I think that's really needed to help our state move forward. My goal is to make sure that everyone's voice is heard in Atlanta and that all of our needs are met. If elected as your representative, I will work diligently to be your representative, a people's person. I plan on working to get all of our schools um, at the level that we can educate students that are eligible for the HOPE Scholarship. There's a lot of changes made to the graduation requirements and there's gonna be some changes that need to be made in order to make sure that everyone qualifies. Uh, our graduation rate also in the area is a lot lower than we'd originally thought and that's just not acceptable. That's too low and we need to work on that. The school system needs to work a lot harder to make sure that our students want to stay in school and ultimately graduate ready to go to college. As a mom of small children, pre-K is also very important to me. We need to make sure that the lottery, we're maximizing that funding for pre-K programs. A passion for learning is something that starts early on, and I see it in my little kids, that they love to learn, they come home, and they can write their name, and they're so excited. And that's something that's gonna stay with them all the way through to graduation, and I think it's really important that we get them started early, liking school, so they stay all the way to graduation. Um, I'd also like to work with farmers and legislators to come up with some sort of resolution for this migrant worker issue. The farms are very important to South Georgia, and thank you. <laughs> and we need to make sure that they're properly staffed. The state needs to make sure that all those all those crops in those fields get picked. That's very important. Um, I would also uh, like to make sure that women's health decisions are brought back to them and put into their hands. That's something that's very important to me as well as a woman. I think that my body is my own and I'll make those choices. Thank you. <laughs> and finally, one thing I don't plan on doing is turning my back on those that vote for and support me throughout this election season. Thank you, Teresa. I'm sorry. I'm okay, sorry. But, but that's okay because you're gonna be able to, uh, with our questions, to touch on a lot of the topics which you mentioned in your opening statements. Again, we have a one minute response time for the questions. Uh, let's